Hello YouTube, my name is Token and welcome back to some more Oblivion. Now in the last part, we officially completed the tutorial and we are now in the open world of Oblivion. So here we are. And something I didn't go over last time was my um, my attributes and skills. So as you can see, um, they're all pretty balanced. Um, it's 45, 40s and 50s, apart from wall power obviously because I'm not really a magic type, but hopefully I can get some magic um, abilities used, so that'll be good. And here are my skills. Now the ones I picked last time have been increased by 25 points, and the more I used, so as you can see, marksman is 36. It's not 25. It's because I used that more in the tutorial, so I have 36 instead of 25. If that makes sense. So. That's all pretty good, and I need to do some alchemy as well, but I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see me do potions, but I will do that off camera. And all the other skills are really low, but hopefully they'll be increased, like restoration, we need to increase that a lot as well. Um, so yeah, this is good. So our first quest, and I'll just show the map, yeah it's a pretty big map. And I don't know if you guys heard in the last parts, but I actually don't fast travel that very often. I like to explore the land. Um, so as you can see, we are here, and we have to go over here. But I'm going to go into the Imperial City first, to the Market District, and I'm going to do some um, buying and selling, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, that's complete quest, uh, the tutorial. My current quest is to deliver the amulet. So this is the main quest line. So I should take the amulet of King Joffrey at Wayne and Priory in the city of Coral. And it's there, obviously. Okay. But first, I'm going to go over here. So as you can see, because I picked athletics, I'm moving a lot faster than I was. So I think I'm moving pretty fast at the moment. Okay, so we've got some guys around here. Do some long range battle. Come on. Hey. Nice. <laughs> I just love doing that. It's so fun. Alright, so let's collect these arrows. Okay. But yeah, for the times I'm going to be um, just running around the map, it's going to be off camera. Because um, I don't want to bore you guys, and I don't want the parts to be insanely long. But anything that I find a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch, I will start recording again. And you guys can watch me do what I'm doing. Okay, so let's just take that. Um, you know what, yeah, we'll take the first stuff. Where's the other guy? Um, where's everyone? So we want to take that. We want to take the iron bow because we've got a rusty one at the moment. You know what? We'll take some pants. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else here. There is something I want to get over here. Is there something? No. So we've got some more ingredients. Some flowers. Someone can see me. Oh crap. Alright, let's do some sword play. Alright, crab meat. Okay. Got a few more crabs. Chest with nothing, and this has four gold. But the thing I wanted to get was this a gnome root plant. So this activates another quest, seeking your roots. So I have to take this to an alchemist, and um, he'll examine it basically. But we're gonna do that quest a little bit later on in this let's play. Okay. 
And this um, structure here is an Aeliod ruin. Um, I haven't really gone into what an Aeliod is. It's like some form of alien race that used to live in this land before the humans took over, I think. And they left these ruins for you to explore. And these are scattered across the whole map. And they contain very good items in there. But we are going to come back to it a little bit later on. Because I want to get some quests done first. Okay. Should have some more crabs along the shoreline. There we are. So, place go increase. There's an imp over there. We're just going to go up to this fort first. Basically, I'm just going to run to these locations just so you guys can know what these um, map symbols mean. So as you can see, this is kind of a castle-looking thing, uh, so or a fort, uh, and obviously this is a fort. All right, so let's get this goblin. Not talk about the fort. Okay. So just like the Aeliod ruins, uh, forts have good items in them as well. Um, and I think they have more enemies, I'm pretty sure. And there's usually a quest associated with them as well, so... We'll be exploring a lot of them as well. Um, let's go check out this barrel over here. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay. So we'll go over to this final structure over here. And then I think I'll go off camera and then I'll run to the Imperial City. Okay. Looking very flat on the ground here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I didn't go over the sign for the Iliad Ruins. So, Iliad Ruins kind of look like that. Um, don't know what sign, kind of symbol that is. Uh, but yeah. It's like a circle, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so forts have that, and the structure I'm coming across will have this kind of helmet-shaped thing, if you can see that. And these are usually caves. I know that was the sewers, but this is a cave, okay. And caves have more enemies than loot, in my opinion. But there is some good loot in there as well. But again, we're going to come back to it a little later on. Okay, so let's take this crab. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to be uh, going off camera. I'm going to run up to the Imperial City, and then um, when I'm purchasing or selling something, I'll let you guys know, and then I'll record again. So, it'll be instantaneously for you, uh, it's literally like a second between here and a shop, but for me it'll be about 10 minutes, so I will see you guys just in a second. Alright guys, so now I am in the uh, Imperial City Market, um, well met. so there's a lot more people here, which is very nice. Um, I just did some alchemy as well, so I have a few more uh, potions and poisons. Now, because I came to the market, because I'm going to sell the poisons and potions I don't want. And that's going to give me a lot of gold. Um, and I actually leveled up a few times in alchemy as well. So now my alchemy is 27, nearly 28. And this bar here is just progressed to the next level. So when that's full, I have to sleep in a bed to level up. It's okay. <laughs> So the store I want to go to first is Gen Scene's Good as New Merchandise. So let's go in there. And let's just talk to Gen Scene. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. 
I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Thorinir? I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. Start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Okay, so that's a new quest added so we'll be doing that alongside everything else as well uh, inventory his inventory must be stolen it has to be he prices less than it costs to make some of those things go see for yourself okay so we're just gonna do some what uh, can I interest you in selling uh, so as you can see I switched out to the iron bow which is plus one damage so we don't need that anymore and I don't need this so I'm never gonna use it probably and we'll sell these as well. You've got a great a fun. You So this takes a while but we get quite That's a bit a gold good deal. for it. Now this is where the real money comes in. Selling these potions and poisons. This is why alchemy is actually really good. Um I don't want to sell these healing potions because I might need That's those. That's because of all the damage I take, it'd be quite good to have them. So as you can see my mercantile mercantile uh skill increases every time I sell things. You've made a but, good bit of gold. Yeah, I'll keep those as well. And I still have a few ingredients left, but I can't combine them all together, so I couldn't actually um, make a potion or poison out of them. Uh, these scrolls, I'm not going to need them. Also the book. And we'll sell that's, these as well. That's it. A f you drop... Okay, so there we go. I now have 429 gold. So that's quite a lot. I don't think she has anything I want to have. Uh, no, not really. Okay. Tell your friends about me. Oh, I'm sure I will. Thanks again for your help. We had no other place to turn. Okay. Now it'd be good to search these crates as well, but I think I'll do that off camera as well. Um, How are you? Because in these crates and bags and everything, um, and barrels, there are uh, more ingredients, you can get more repair hammers, and you can get a bit of gold. And there's some more I over there as well. Daedra worship is becoming increasingly prevalent in the sunset. And now, I want to go to the best defense. And I want to try and buy some armor. The best defense. That's me, Morrow Rufus. Light armor. The very best. Okay. Let's do business. Okay, so I haven't got a helmet and I haven't got greaves and I haven't got gauntlets either. Hmm. So we'll buy greaves. We'll buy a helmet. And we'll buy some gauntlets. Tell your friends about me. Sure, I will again. Farewell. And that guy's heavy armor. If you want to do a heavy armor, play for Okay, so let's just put our new armor on. There we go. We're looking pretty badass right now. Okay, so I'm going to do some repairing. And I just broke both my hammers, so we got to get some more of those. Um. 
But feel free to let me know if you want me to do all these um, purchasing items what? and selling them off camera. Who will help an because old I don't know if it's boring or it's actually interesting to watch, so just let me know. But for this part, I'm just going to include it. Welcome to A Fighting Chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city, and I offer advanced training for armorers. Okay, so as you can see, she is an advanced trainer for the armorer skill. Let's get to training. Now, when I was talking about um, increasing my restoration skill without actually using it, this is what I meant. Because if you go to a mage's college, um, I think just any mage's college in the whole map, uh, at least one person is going to be a trainer in one of the magic skills. So I want to do that for restoration. And as you can see, you need quite a bit of gold to actually train yourself so that's what I'll be doing but I don't need armor very much so I'm not gonna do that may I interest you in some of my fine wares uh, I don't need any of those but we do want these I'm gonna buy ten of these a fine bargain I appreciate your business okay thank you you too okay so I think I'm ready to um, take my adventure to Coral or Wayne and Priory to see Joffrey um, but obviously I'm not going to record that but I think I'm going to end this part here guys so if you did enjoy this episode then be sure to leave a like as it does help out the channel and I appreciate it a lot and if you enjoy what you're watching then be sure to subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments if um, you actually want to see me buying and selling stuff and stuff like that because it just lets me know if it's either boring or whatever. So just let me know. So as always, guys, I will see you in the next part. And goodbye.